they're off for the Grade 1 Bedford Bowl. Three miles out the furlong in front of them. They go to the first of 19 fences, the white face, the giant bolster, giving a lead to who do you think in the cheek pieces. And all eight safely over the opening fence with Silviniarco Conti away to the left, Ruby Walsh, the pink jacket, anchor towards the rear to the first of the ditches, fence number two. Who do you think taking on the giant bolster? Just snatched at it slightly. On the left, Wayward Prince coming to join the leading line. They're tracked by Quito de la Roque with the white cap and then Menorah, the two shades of blue, shadowed by First Lieutenant. Cape Tribulation, a white jacket tucked away on the inner under Dennis O'Rique and with Silviniarco Conti for company at the rear of the field. So rising at the third, who do you think taking over? And again, the giant bolster, not terribly convincing. It's a little bit scrappy at the second and awkward at the third. So who do you think leads them with two circuits to cover from the giant bolster going back up to his tail? Wayward Prince, who chases a third success at entry, is disputing third around the first corner with Quito de la Roque up the inner, stalked by Menorah, and then First Lieutenant and Cape Tribulation and Silviniarco Conti dispute last place. Heading off down the back straight, then they move towards the end of four and a half, five furlongs or so, and a line of four fences that await them on the far side. Who do you think from the giant bolster? Quito de la Roque, White Cap, close up in third. Then Wayward Prince from Menora, First Lieutenant, Cape Tribulation, and Silviniarco Conti are taken out wider by Walsh, giving a good view of the fences and towards the next, the number five. Who do you think closest to the running rail? The giant bolster out in the centre, split by Quito de la Roque in the hands of Paul Town and the length between the leading trio on landing. Menora checks on the sleeves next door to Wayward Prince and then First Lieutenant. Cape Tribulation and Silviniarco Conti both waited with as they go to the second in the ditches. Quito de la Roque taking on, who do you think? And no serious alarms there, although Wayward Prince was a briefly a bustle away from the landing side. Now defence seven, which completes the jumping in the back straight this time. And there, a Quito de la Roque with a fast and accurate leap uh, went on from the giant bolster. First lieutenant going handy up on the outer and having been headed, who do you think has uh, rather dropped the bit and has dropped himself right out to be last of all, the outsider. So having started off down the far side in front, he finds himself now a couple of lengths adrift as they turn uh, down the side to a uh, face fence eight. On the sharp end, it's Quito de la Roque from the giant bolster. Quito de la Roque in a bit close on that occasion. Giant bolster wide, Wayward Prince and First Lieutenant track them around the turn. And then Menorah from Cape Tribulation in the Pale Silks, followed by Silviniarco Conti, and a couple of lengths away to Who Do You Think? A circuit completed then in this Grade 1, a bet friend bowl. They move to the ninth, Quito de la Roque on the right, just ahead from the giant bolster. Wayward Prince disputing third on landing with Menorah. And having gone prominent at the last on the far side, first lieutenant left of the group wearing jacket has rained off them once more. Then came tribulation, Walsh still patient on Silviniarco Conti in the pink as they clear another ditch. And the gap is widening to who do you think driven along at the tail end of the field. So heading up to a fence 11 with still over a circuit to cover. And Quito de la Roque and Paul Townend, the seven time chase winner, giving a lead to the giant bolster and Tom Scudamore on the near side. And Menorah, Richard Johnson against the far running rail, just had to reach for that one and left a trailing leg. Wayward Prince in the centre is upsized and near side first lieutenant the Maroon. And uh, Lincoln was briefly sitting a little low in the side of the board, Cape Tribulation. The nose back just ahead of Walsh, still patient on Silviniarco Conti as they embark on their final circuit. And who do you think is now completely tailed off and looks like pulling up? Remainder, however, recovered by only five lengths as they head away towards the first over on the far side. Quito de Rock pressured again by the giant bolster. First lieutenant is wide of Wayward Prince, then Menorah, the two shades of blue. And Silviniarco Conti just inches past Cape Tribulation once more. And the pace is on the increase as they rise at the first on the far side. Quito de la Rock just ahead from the giant bolster. First lieutenant moving up stylishly under Brian Cooper on the far side. Then Wayward Prince, Menorah, Silviniarco Conti about four lengths off them. A couple of lengths to Cape Tribulation as they take another plane fence. Quito de la Rock and the giant bolster are together from First Lieutenant Menorah. Wayward Prince in the centre is bustled along from Silviniarco Conti and then Cape Tribulation. Another ditch looming large. Quito de la Roque uh, took off outside the wings of that one, a rather forced error from the giant bolster. Uh, Silviniarco Conti wasn't terribly high on the outer, but Walsh still sits motionless as now the giant bolster comes under pressure after that blunder. And Quito de la 
Rock is joined uh, by a fellow gig in stand rival, a uh, first lieutenant, and immediately Quito de la Rock comes under pressure. A uh, Regan pale jacket has eased Cape Tribulation into it. Walsh is having to circle them on Silviniaco Conte. Menorah cutting the corner makes ground, noses up into third as they travel down the side of the course and approach the fourth last. So the Gigin stand pair one and two at present. Quito de la Rock uh, bustled along from first lieutenant, a length between them on landing. Then Menora, Cape Tribulation, is tracked through, is uh, slipstreamed by Sorviniaco Conti, then Wayward Prince and the giant bolster has dropped back to the tail of the field. They swing for home then to face this final line of three fences in the bed, Fred Bowl. And Quito de la Rock, who's been on the sharp end for much of the way, is still there. But first lieutenant looming large. Cape Tribulation second from the left. Away to the right, Menorah. Nora staking his claim, and now Walsh is becoming more animated on Silveniaco Conti, trying to get him on terms with the leaders, as Menorah serves it up to Quito de la Rock and First Lieutenant. A line of three on landing over the last ditch. Silveniaco Conti has booted a fourth, four lengths off the lead, as Menorah presses on on the long run down to that final fence. Challenged by First Lieutenant, Silveniaco Conti pokes his nose up into third ahead of Quito de la Rock, and then came Tribulation. Menorah from First Lieutenant, here's the last, Menorah Menorah saw a stride, jumped it well. First Lieutenant, though, pestering him off on the running. Coming to have another crack at Menorah. First Lieutenant bearing down him. Silviniaco Conti stays on him behind. First Lieutenant is edging off. And First Lieutenant earns his strike. And First Lieutenant wins the best red bowl. From Menorah, Silviniaco Conti and Quito to the Rock was back in fourth. First number two, First Lieutenant.